guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So, if you saw my recent video where I made <laughs> I made those awful looking background pages um, using those metallic paint sticks, the little Brian paint sticks, um, and yeah, I said that we would come back and I had some ideas as to what to do with those background pages. So I'm back now to hopefully, you know, to do some things with those background pages. So what I have brought along today, now this is some double-sided page sheet, you know, some double-sided paper basically. So it's kind of like double-sided tape, but it's a whole sheet of paper. Now I have to say, it took me a while to find something like this. I did get it from Amazon, um, but I had to trawl through quite a lot of different things to actually be able to find it. So whether or not I was not searching for it, you know, using the correct terms, I'm not really too sure. Um, but I mean, eventually, you know, I did just search double-sided A4 sheet and eventually I came up with something. Now, I then trawled through because at first there was, um, I think it was just like the top option was something like five sheets for, you know, eight pounds or something. You know, really quite expensive, to be honest, for really not very many sheets. I eventually got this one, which I think was 18 sheets for... I think maybe about 11 pounds so i mean definitely definitely not the cheapest but i'm hoping it's going to be like something really nice and fun to use so haven't obviously used it at all yet hoping for the best that it's actually going to be good stuff i feel very skeptical as to even whether it's double-sided stuff but um you know because i can't even see where to you know peel in the corner but anyway hopefully it is the correct stuff so I thought what we could do is make some gesso, uh, gesso, some washi tape, sorry, completely uh, wrong word, some washi tape. So I'm going to cut my piece down, you know, this double-sided paper to the size of my page like that, okay? And then obviously this is double-sided paper. So the reason why I have bought this um, is so that then we can just peel the top layer off, pop our piece on, and then obviously the back is still then peelable. So completely like, I mean, it's not completely like washi tape, but you know, it's then like a double-sided tape, if you see what I mean. So that's the plan. Um, you know, we'll see kind of if it works or not. So yeah, I've got this piece here which we did the stamping on so let's just peel the top layer off now my only worry here is that actually this has now gone a little bit sort of wavy if you can see you know like from where it's got wet and been painted so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get it smooth enough on here I mean if not hopefully the wrinkles aren't going to look really too terrible oops oh, okay Right, so peeling that top layer off like that. And then we can just pop this down. Now, there's probably a really great technique to doing this. I don't have it, obviously, because it's the first time I've ever done it. But let's start down here. I'm going to just pop it down there. And then I'm going to try and go kind of as slowly and smoothly as possible to try and get it on as flat as possible do you know that's actually gone on okay after all that fuss it's actually gone on much better than I'd expected I really thought that was going to be problematic to get it down flat but touch wood it's it's seeming pretty flat so let me just oh gosh open my drawer now which is now wedged closed right let me just get my spreader so I'm just using my card that I use for, you know, spreading glue just to smooth out any bubbles. Now, I have to say, I literally couldn't see any bubbles in mine. Um, but, you know, if you have, then I guess smooshing it out is definitely, you know, the way to go. And then I'm going to go over it with some Mod Podge because I want it to have that sort of texture that, um, you know, washi tape has. Well, not texture. It's, it's not going to have the texture because washi tape obviously is very thin. It's made from almost like that rice paper stuff, isn't it? Somebody did give me a telling off once um, because I had done a video making, you know, making washi tape video. I mean, of course, I'm not actually trying to make washi tape. You know, I wouldn't know how to use, you know, what paper to use or anything like that. But 
I'm just meaning, you know, something resembling washi tape. But yeah, somebody kind of came on and said to me, oh, you know, for your information, washi tape is, and they gave me a big definition of what it was. And yeah, I mean, it's a couple of years ago. So of course I can no longer remember what they actually even said it was. But yes, of course I was, um, I had defined it completely incorrectly. So there is no, you know, no offense intended if this is not your idea of what washi tape is or, you know, not your opinion of what washi tape is. I mean, of course, I'm not actually trying to make actual washi tape. I'm just trying to make something that's going to look a bit like washi tape. And obviously, because this is now on that double sided paper, it's actually going to be a bit like washi tape in terms of how you use it as well. So let's just go over that completely with the Mod Podge. Okay, now I did try a couple of other um, mediums just on some plain sheets of paper to see whether I thought that something else might be better than the Mod Podge. But I've come back to the Mod Podge because actually I think that is the best way to get that sort of, you know, sealed looking surface, but without being overly shiny. So I'm just going to move that to one side to dry. Oops, let's just put it down over there to dry. Okay, now obviously I've got now this off cut and what I thought we could do is use some napkin and make some washi tape from the napkin. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Let me just clean my, clean my desk down a little bit so that I don't end up with this everywhere. And I'm just going to peel that top layer off again. Oh, look, it's coming off really easily now. Okay, oops. Pop that down like that. And then I'm going to take my napkin. Let's again just hope for the best. Obviously, the napkin, yeah, might be a bit more problematic to get it on wrinkle free, but well, it's not too bad actually. Not too bad. Now, obviously, the napkin is kind of. Um, Ooh, what's the word? Like a kind of porous thing. So I don't know whether the Mod Podge is going to have a, you know, negative effect really when I kind of go over this. But again, I mean, you could leave this now so as it has a napkin texture to use as washi tape. But I thought let's go over it with the Mod Podge again to kind of seal it so as it's, you know, a bit more washi tape-esque in its kind of, um, in its finish. So, sorry, I'm just trying to get my drawer unwedged. Okay, that's better. So let's again smooth that down. I mean, I've got to say, these are really going on pretty wrinkle free so far. So yeah, so far, I'm kind of quite impressed. Right, let's go over with the Mod Podge. Okay. Like that. Okay. Ooh. This one's a bit trickier to um, keep hold of for some reason. I have no idea why. Okay, so I'm going to now again just move that to one side just to leave that to dry. Now, I mean, Mod Podge doesn't take too, too long to dry. So, I mean, hopefully it will be dry, you know, not too, too far away. And then what I've got as well so I'll just bring in another sheet I've just got some scraps and things so here I've got that marble paper that my daughter and I made and again I thought we could make some pretty washi from that so I'm just going to cut that, out, that down here so it's you know less less white showing basically so so, I mean, this is quite a good little thing to do, you know, with some scraps and things, to be honest, is just make some little, you know, handmade washi with your scraps. So, again, just going to cut that down like that. And actually, I just cut that down there. Oh, I'm so stingy, honestly. So stingy. It's unbelievable. Right. Okay. And then we can put that on there. Oops. 
Oh, come on. Please excuse my hands, by the way. They're very messy, obviously, with the gesso and things because for me, it's the same day that I did the, the other video where we made the handmade paper using the paint sticks. It's actually the same day. So, yeah, I do apologise for my very messy hands. Right. Oh, I'm probably getting a bit careless now how I'm doing this down because, look, I'm completely slanted on the on the page. Okay, not great. So let's just trim that down a bit. Okay. Trim it down here. Okay, and across at the bottom. There we go. Right, now this I'm wondering whether I would like to distress ink it. The only thing is when you distress ink it, I do find then that the um, Mod Podge slightly smudges it, you know. So do I want to do that or not? Mm, I don't know what it's going to look like if it's distress inked actually. I don't think I've distress inked this. Um, should we give it a try? Let's just give it a try, shall we? So I'm just going over the whole thing because obviously this is going to be cut down, you know, into strips like washi tape. So I don't want to, um, you know, just go over like the edges because then of course the middle is not going to be inked at all. So you've got to bear it in mind that you're going to be actually, you know, cutting it down. So there we go. Okay, right, let's go over that with the Mod Podge now. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it has smudged a little bit, but it's not too, too bad, to be honest. It still looks okay. So, again, just put that to one side to, oops, to dry. Sorry, just trying to balance it somewhere. I'm obviously running out of space on my desk, so, yeah, not, not great. And then I've got some scrapbook paper, which, again, I've had this in my stash for a really long time. Kind of hoarded it to be honest, because it's really nice pattern. I really, really like it with the letters. Um, but what I'm thinking is, let me just, okay. What I'm thinking is, to be honest, you know, I'm not obviously using it as it is. I've just like been under my desk since the Tidy Fridays. So actually I thought, let's come and pop this down and we can do some washi tape with this one as well, because at least then, you know, it's got a chance of being used, hasn't it? Whereas currently, it's just under my desk, not being used at all. So let's peel that backing off. Oops. Like that. Oh, come on. Ah! Can't even now let go of it. Just going to, again, stick that down like that. Honestly, I'm quite shocked at how brilliantly things are sticking wrinkle free on this it really is very 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 good i don't know whether it's fluke or whether it's you know that these double-sided labels are kind of i don't know aiding i'm not sure but it is really good you know so far it's all gone down really really nicely oh, you see i just want to hold this i mean it's not the biggest piece but yeah for some reason i can't bring myself to throw it in the bin which is slightly ridiculous isn't it Okay, so again, might just ink this up just a touch. And obviously, again, just like the last piece, you know, we need to go all over it because, of course, once it's cut down into, you know, washy strips, it's no longer going to be inked if we don't go over the whole thing. 
Okie dokie, there we go. And then we're just going to, again, just Mod Podge over that. So the Mod Podge, I'm just using the gloss, uh, sorry, not the gloss, the matte, the matte Mod Podge. I've only ever bought the gloss Mod Podge once. And um, I mean, personally, I didn't really think that it seemed that glossy. I didn't think it actually seemed a great deal glossier than the matte Mod Podge. And, you know, that's not to be kind of slagging it off as a project, a product, a product because, you know, Mod Podge, I mean, I absolutely love Mod Podge. It's one of my favourite things, um, you know, but yeah, just in my opinion, the glossy actually didn't really add a great deal from the mat. So, but I mean, that was a few years ago that I tried it. So who knows? Maybe it's, maybe it's come on a bit since then. And that's the only two I've ever tried because they do a whole different range of um, different Mod Podge, don't they? Like fabric and yeah, all different ones. Those are the only two that I have tried. Okay, right, let's get rid of the Mod Podge out of the way and pull in. We'll pull in the first one, which hopefully might be dry-ish, that we can cut down now into some washy strips and see how it looks. So, okay, so the ones that we have done are these ones here, or this, this one here, um, the napkin. Now I have to say the only one that's kind of vaguely dry is this one. The napkin here, this with the scrapbook paper and this one with the marbly papers, which actually this one's slightly dryish as well. So they've come out really, really nicely. I can't tell you how much I love them. But my favourite one is this one, which, I mean, this was obviously my initial kind of idea for this. So all I'm going to do is obviously cut it into strips for washi tape. So I'm going to cut straight along here. I say straight, I mean it might not might not be quite straight, but hopefully straight-ish. Like that. Okay? And of course you could just trim down. So like here, the stamps haven't quite reached the bottom of the page, so I can just trim that down slightly. So that they're now, you know, running running along the bottom there. Oops, I don't think I've done a very neat job of cutting that very straight now. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh dear. Oh dear, and this is where it just gets worse and worse. Worse and worse, and I'll end up with none left. Okay, well I mean obviously once I come to use that, I can obviously tidy it up a bit, but hopefully you can see that. So, I mean it's got that sort of sheen that washi tape has, and obviously, you know, you can incorporate any of your patterns or anything like that. And then we can try and use it as maybe like a hinge or something like that. So let's just find something that we can that we can pull in and hinge. So hold on. Okay, well I've got a CD case here. So I'm just thinking we could just like hinge it. We could hinge it there. Um, actually, or let's just see what else I've got. got this paper. Oh, what do I want to do? Let's have a look. Uh, hold on, sweetie. Um, yeah, just kind of. Oh, I know, let's have it like that. So again, let me just pull in something to kind of marry that with. So yeah, for instance, just pull in here. So if I just pull this down, actually I don't want it as, as big as that. So let's just go here. So if you wanted to make like a hinged, Piece on like a pocket. Just tear that down. It's just quick and easy. And then just cut that down here, I think. Okay. And then obviously here we could just hinge on. I probably would prefer that slightly smaller, so I'm just going to cut it down here. Like that. Just 
get rid of that little corner. So then with your double-sided washi tape, or yeah, double-sided washi tape, I'm just going to cut it here. And you can obviously just peel it off. So, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not like on a roll or anything. And that's another thing. Not quite sure how I'm going to store this. I think I probably would prefer to store it as, um, you know, whole pieces of paper and then cut it down when I come to use it. But who knows? Right, let's just pop that down there. Whoops. Pop that down there like that. Oops. Okay, so that's my little hinged piece there. And then, of course, you could just, I mean, I have to say, I have mucked that up a bit because I've actually gone over it. Just see if I can just cut that down slightly. Oh, honestly, this is just bodgy crafting again, so I do apologise. But then we could obviously then put another strip on this side. So let me just take another and just cut another, another strip. This has such a lovely feel, I can't tell you. It feels absolutely gorgeous. Just peel that off. Oh, come on, come on. Ah. Okay. And we can just pop that one down like that. And there we have it, our hinged little piece there. Again, just squish that down nicely, like that. So we've got some really pretty washi tape. And you know, of course then you could do it to coordinate with your projects and things. You know, could make them look really, really pretty. I'm just going to trim this down slightly here. Yeah, you could make them look really, really pretty, to be honest. So. Yeah, I think it's a really nice way to use some handmade background papers. I love how that looks. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, you know, we could put a little closure here. So should we do that? Let me see whether I've got any of my little, little doobries. Oh my God, oh, just reaching behind my desk to get them for some reason. They must be tucked in further than normal because that seemed like a very long way. No, it's not normally. Okay, these are not very thick. So what I might do is actually glue these together just to give them an extra bit of, extra bit of thickness. So yeah, let's just glue these two together. Oops. Okay. That one. And glue it together. Yeah, I'm only doing this because these are not particularly thick, these little tags. Tabs. Tags. <laughs> tags, yeah. Tags. Oh, going mad. I can't think what they're even called. But... There we go. And then put the lid on. Get rid of those. I always like to use those gorgeous, you know, just the bronzy colour brads. So I would just pull one of those in. Okay. Let's 
actually, because I've got some smaller ones. I think I've got a mixture here of the big and the small, so I'll use the small. Okay, and do we want to just go straight through that back bit? Yeah. So let's just do a little hole through there. And then just you know hold that closed like that and then we could finish that off actually with maybe just thinking you know just yeah wondering what I've got laying about I'm sure now here we go a little bit on the big side actually let me just see if I've got some of the smaller ones here printed off hold on Exact one. That's worked out well. Okay. Let's put that to one side. Get that there. I will be inking this up. So if you're thinking this doesn't go particularly brilliantly. It hopefully will, you know, once we've inked it. So, yeah, let's just ink around here a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to ink this piece as well. That's going to be around the edge there. And just ink the inside. Okay. So that's going to, whoops, just close there. It's a little bit soggy because obviously where I've just glued it, but I mean, it will, it will be fine. I'm now thinking that lady's far too small on there. What do you think? They look kind of small, don't they? Perhaps I should have had the bigger one after all. I'm actually thinking I'm going to go for the bigger one. Right, hold on, I've got this one. Let's go for this one. And I might even cut her off of the background, if you see what I mean. So she's a bit smaller. Okay, let's get them off of that background. I mean, the background's just there as an option, really. You don't have to use it. You can use it or not use it. Use it or lose it, as they say. So there we go. And we will just ink around there very quickly. Oh, how pretty does that look? And then I think let's finish that off with a bow because I'm just loving using those bows at the moment. Mm. Oh, I'm not sure what colour. Not sure what colour bow to use now. Um, um, oh, I don't know. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I mean, I was intending on using this, but that's very, very tiny on there. Actually, do you know what? I'm wondering whether I could use one of the bright bows in the, um, you know, that bright blue. Because that would tie in her jacket. So, yeah, let's do that instead. So, complete backtrack there. Ooh, that's kind of a purpley colour. Again, probably not really the right colour. Honestly, I mean, I say this all the time, but we can have like numerous things and still never have quite the right thing, can't we? You know, we have all these hundreds of bits and pieces. Ah, oh, there we go. That's, that's the right thing, isn't it? Okay, so I did have the right thing after all. It was just a case of finding it. So there we go. And yep, let's just pop these all back into the thing. I just like to keep these bows in another one of these little things that goes in my photo box. And I've showed those before, but I find them so handy. So 
Right, let's just quickly ink this around. Like that. And I've got some of this cheesecloth-y type stuff here. So just wondering whether we could put it down on there. Oh, how pretty is that? I love it. Okay. Right. I'm not very good at tearing this stuff. So <coughs> I'm thinking I should probably tear it before before gluing it down. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. Um, I'm on my, you know, second or third video. So um, just got a bit of a dry throat now. Okay. Right, let's get rid of that to the side. And yeah, let's glue this one down just on here. I don't really know if this is cheesecloth, to be honest. But, you know, it seems like it's a bit cheesecloth-y to me. Okay, right, let's just fabri-tack that down onto there. Okay, oops. Let's get that sort of bit that will be clogging the fabri-tack up. Okay. So we just fabric tack that down onto the cheesecloth. Let me just hold that down for a minute. It's still, like I say, quite soggy that piece because where I've just obviously glued those two together, it's um, yeah, it's a little bit on the soggy side. Okay, and then, oops, we can then glue the whole thing. Like that. Okay, whoops. Sorry, knocking everything flying now. Right, let's put this down here. Just move this little thing out of the way. So, yep, we've got those there. Again, just close this down. And then I've got that gorgeous blue bow, which, oh my goodness, what have I done with that? Oh, thank goodness, it was just in my lap. I thought for a minute, oh, I don't believe it. After all that looking for it, I've now lost the bow. I actually really like it at the side, but I can't have it to the side because I'm going to cover that girl up and yeah, it's just not great. So let's just have the bow down here. Oops, okay. And then I might just put three little pearls down the side, just on here. And let's just find a couple of pearls. I was gonna say, I know they're here because I've used them recently. Ugh, struggled, used them and struggled with them recently. Because they're so titchy. They're really, really hard to, um, <laughs> to handle. Really hard to handle. Okay, right. So I'm just going to go straight in here and just put three Dobs of blue. So we're going one. Oh, come on. Two. Three. And then I'll move them around once they're actually on here. So, yeah, right, okay, so I've got them on there. Let me just move them around with my little, little pokey thing. Sometimes it's easier to move them around, you know, get them kind of like onto the piece of paper and then just move them around. So, avoiding contact with my hands, really, as much as possible, because once I touch them, they come up. You know, because my hands are obviously covered in glue, which then just sticks to them. And then, of course, they just come back up. There we go. Right, what do we think? Looks really pretty, doesn't it? So what do we think to the um, washi tape? It works really lovely, doesn't it? So, yeah, like I say, I'm not sure whether I would cut it down and keep it in strips, maybe like bulldog clip together and hung up. 
or whether I would actually keep it like this. The bonus of keeping it like this, obviously, is, you know, like sometimes you get those really wide washi tapes. You could then have this as a wide one and just, you know, use it at the thickness that you fancy. Whereas obviously once you've cut it down, you know, you're kind of stuck then with narrow washi tape. But isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love it. And it really does look very real, you know, very much like a washi tape. So yeah, I hope that you like it. I really, really, really love how it looks. And I'll just bring in those other ones now. The napkin, I have to say, hasn't gone quite that lovely washi tape, um, you know, uh, smooth texture. So yeah, that's something to be aware of. And maybe I will do another coat and see how it goes then. Um, the scrapbook paper has worked fantastically well. So again, I could just cut that down now into strips and use that. And the marble paper as well. Again, that's gone really, really nicely. And, you know, the marble paper as well. I mean, I could still stamp on that now with some stays on, um, you know, because obviously stays on goes over everything. So I could still do that. You know, now it's been, uh, you know, mod podged. So options are there, definitely. But, I mean, I absolutely love, love, love this one. I mean, not like that, not in its entirety, but when it's cut down, I mean, I would buy that, to be honest. I think it looks so nice. So, yeah, I hope that you like it and, um, you know, maybe have fun if you decide to make some little bits of washi tape yourself. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks, Em. Bye.